once the bubbling stops, that's when you pretty much know that it's come down to temperature. So this is the yeast extract we're going to be lysing. This was a two liter culture grown to OD of 1.8. It's been compacted down to about 10 mils um, where we've dropped it into liquid nitrogen to give these nice solid pellets. So we're going to keep this cold too. This is in a nice form that allows it to be easily busted apart. That's a technical term. So we fill it about halfway or so. I'm going to put one of the ball bearings in. Now before you thread it on, we want to make sure that we drain out any residual liquid nitrogen, almost like you're making a martini. I don't know. Then we'll screw it down and put it back in. Ready to put it in the ball mill. So we're going to have it hold there, and then we ratchet this down so it's nice and tight, and then we lock this in. We like to keep these symmetrical so that this short side here is pointing to the out, so we're going to balance it by doing the same over here. And tighten that down. Here we're doing 10 hertz for three minutes. I'm gonna do that five times with two minutes of cooling liquid nitrogen. We can also prepare our stir bars. So here we put them in a 50 mil conical and just give it a couple spritz of RNA sap. There's our nice busted up yeast. So now we're going to take that and put it into the beaker. So we make sure our spatula is nice and cold. We're going to go inside and just scrape this off. Here we have to watch out for the ball bearing that it doesn't fall out. So I scrape some out of the edges first, then it looks like the ball bearing is really loose. I'll transfer it to the other half of the holder.
at all that yeast. We can't wait to splice. That's what it was born to do. You can never get it all. Just try and get as much as you can. The other thing is over time, water vapor from the air will crystallize or condense on this cold metal. So that's pretty much it for that. I might go back and try and scrape off the ball bearing a little if I can.